Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along to another episode of the Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank, as always I do hope you're doing very well. It is a scorching afternoon. Uh, we are just finishing up with the last of clearing the, the hay at least out of this field. Uh, and that is everything that is bailed is now either on the trailer and or under cover, which is good. Uh, we're going to take this back up to the top yard where we'll get this one stacked up probably tomorrow morning now. Because uh, I want to get out there whilst it's still nice. We're going to go and do a little bit of drilling, so we're, uh, yeah, looking good. Just need to uh, take this up to the yard there. There weren't too many uh, bales on the, the the piece of this field that we actually made into hay. It was essentially just the cuts. The rest of the land was, the headlands were all bailed up to silage. Uh, that was quite a while ago now. But yeah, that's looking all good though anyway. Uh, it was a pretty, pretty poor first uh, uh, kind of crop of hay off there. Mainly just due to the intense heat that we had after the first cut of silage because it was just so uh, Such poor grass growing conditions really we couldn't get done. So uh, We had to kind of just make do and get cracking on with it elsewhere. So it's we, We're doing all right for hay right now. I'd say we're not doing it could be a bit better could always be better But we'll uh, we've got a few more fields that we can cut down there third cut because we have had some rain recently about 12 mil I think we are we're looking a lot better there for the third cut so we'll, we'll see how that's looking I'm uh, gonna get a bit more slurry out in the next few days as well and that should really kind of kick us along all being well we've got a lot of slurry up at the at the top yard silo we did put a bit down on the uh, the side on the ground around the lower yard with the 7710 it's great to have that back on board so that is all looking good there as well so that handled the high spec tanker very very well indeed uh, and hopefully that will continue, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, all all signs are looking good for that, so watch this space there. Uh, like I say though, it is nice weather, we've got plenty of ground to go and get uh, attacked with the drill. So we will be looking to get that done as soon as possible. Um, we've got, we're going to put some winter barley in and it's, we're probably looking at, I think it's going to be, we'll get around that corner i think we're gonna be looking in the region of around about 35 acres of winter barley now and then we'll get the rest of it done hopefully when the when we get the spring barley in i got a few of uh, spring oil seed rape as well it's just lagging a little bit so i'll we'll have to wait and see but all in all we'll, we'll hopefully like think that i can get to all that fairly soon uh we're gonna go in here actually so we're just gonna get this back a shade and then swing in as you can see, like the fields here, they could do, and they're ready for a little bit more slurry on them actually, just to kind of spur them on a little bit. So that'll probably be another job for tomorrow morning, once we get this barley in the ground, I should hope. And swing wide without it taking out the wall. Good. Plenty of space there. Okay. So I hope you're all doing very well. Oh, as we get out here, we're going to go and open some gates. Do let us know down below in the comments how you're getting on, what you're working, what you're driving. Of course, I always like to see that. And how, the, how are you dealing with the weather? Because I know it is getting exceptionally warm in places. Uh, really kind of hindering a lot of yields, uh, be it grass or indeed uh, cereal crops. Cattle are doing okay though. My cattle here are spending a lot of the time very close to the uh, shed. Getting in and out uh, where possible. Uh, and I think that's going to be the... the mo for moving forward there as well now what we're going to do with this tractor we're probably just going to leave it over there i reckon because uh, yeah obviously parking things right in the way everywhere but hey that'll do us uh and then we'll see how we get on 66 is uh loving being back on the loader again firing along it really is a nice quick solution for getting bales cleared quickly i like having my tail handler at each yard but they're not blessed with pace those two uh so we'll have to leave them where they are but yeah for now like i say we're just going to leave this here and once I've done my little bit helping out the dairy manager tomorrow uh, morning there, I usually get on and load a few trailers, that kind of thing. As you can see, I've got the 6820 all ready to roll. Uh, we're going to get out. It's already got seed in, the pressure's on the front and everything, so we're all ready to go. We're just going to get cracking on and see how we can uh, see how much work we can get done today. The, in theory, if we stay out long enough, we should be good, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's just stop this here, though. Put the handbrake on. Alright then, so 
out we go we've been waiting to get drilling uh for quite some time now actually when you think about it we've had the ground worked over for a while it's just never been there's never been enough moisture in the ground to really warrant putting any seed in there yet the rain that we had uh, earlier this week has turned up top trumps for us really so it's a perfect time to get going uh, what we're going to do is lift up that front all right and so out we go uh around that corner there. now across all of our uh across all of our winter barley this year we're putting in a, a variety called Raffaella. uh it's a feed barley as most of my winter barley is i put in there i don't typically grow the barley because i want to get the highest premium i want to make the most money from the cereal crop although that is often nice i grow the barley because i need the straw and it's very expensive to to buy in that straw Especially at the moment there where this year for example, there's not going to be a lot of it. So uh, we may still end up buying in a little bit more But uh, we'll see uh, But yeah, so it's a, it's a variety called uh, Raffaella and it's a new variety for us. It's gonna be a little bit taller stalk uh, It's got slightly increased tolerance on various different uh, pests uh, And growing conditions there and it can handle a little bit more a little damper ground as well So we're gonna see how it gets on there and uh, all being well it might be one for the future for us, I think, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, all I'm going to do right now is we're just cruising down. We're going to cut down the track here. We're going to do this small, there's a, if it's four acres, we'll be doing well here. But there's a small paddock that we're just going to get cracking over. You can see the uh, spring barley on either side here looking very well, looking very clean. Uh, it was sprayed off not so long ago there, so it shouldn't be, I think it's going to be about another six days until technically it's ready, uh, but we'll We'll see what the weather's looking like then. Uh, combine's ready to go anyway, so we'll just get firing with that whenever we can. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get this this little field done first, and then we uh, let's just shut that gate so we're not gonna crack into it. Because that would be something that would happen. This field, and then we've got two more to go and do on the hillside, uh, just to the um, just to the south of the yard. Okay. We'll probably just start down the bottom there, I feel. Fire it over there. Perfect. Awesome stuff. So, we'll get this all done. It's not going to take us too long to do that. It's already been worked over once as well, so I don't really think we're going to need to stick down the... Uh, I don't think we're going to need to stick down the front press, but we'll see how we get going anyway. Uh, and like I said, it's just a small field, so we'll get a rattling along with this one, and then we'll uh, all be well. We'll see how we're looking at the end of it, but like I say, it's, it's a good start, a good time to get this all done. And uh, we're going to probably just get this one done, and we'll catch you in the next field over.
um yes yes it's so, something has definitely gone awry here ladies and gentlemen uh i am nearly at the point of toppling over I just switched off the tractor um yes i don't really know what what i've fallen into but it's something and it's something that's pretty deep by looks things that could have been a lot worse uh, a lot lot worse so we are we're not getting out of that i cannot move at all i've got one i got one wheel touching the ground right now so that's not gonna be doing any good um i was just start making a start in this field here got this little uh, odd shape done and i was just lining up for the next pass there and then didn't see any of this at all it's all kind of covered over in bushes and shrubs and in i went i think it's some kind of like it doesn't look like a sinkhole because there's no water at the bottom of it i wonder if there's a just a an old badger set or something underneath there that's caved in i don't know but this is rather weird i know my dad once ran over a badger set whilst he was plowing years and years ago in an old massey 590 and it uh yeah he had a similar outcome but lord that was not expected that gave me a bit of a shock um yeah there's I, I knocked everything off pretty quickly there fortunately the pto wasn't working as i never have it on when the drills lifted up coulter wise there might be a bit of damage on some of the coulters there nothing too major i hope but we'll have to wait and see um and yeah i think had i've been coming across at more of an angle like that i might have been properly stuck in there so uh well that's a it's gonna put an end to drilling for now uh i don't know how we're gonna properly get out of here but i would assume it's gonna be with a big old uh, tow rope in the 7710 so we'll have to see about that uh but here we are this is this is what we're gonna be left with for now so what i'm probably gonna do is go for a bit of a walk back up the hill uh everything's switched off there it can't go any can't get any worse let's be honest uh but we'll go for a bit of a walk up the hill anyway we were just making a nice little start the ground was coming over that quite nicely uh but we'll have to go and redeem ourselves with this uh with a tow rope here i think uh, just when you think it couldn't get much worse uh so we'll try and pull that out on my own if not i'm gonna have to try and get the uh dairy manager in just to come and uh sit in a tractor really i think and, and pull but we'll see and it's uh well it's going to be an interesting time i think that's about the top and bottom of it but we'll, we'll figure something out here otherwise though yeah we should have got through we'll be getting through these fields in no time at all i'm gonna have to pull that tractor back up to the yard i'm worried that the there might be a bit of compression there uh i hope that the we'll have to check the engine over properly make sure that we didn't get any uh any issues from the the roll there but i don't think so i think we should be okay we'll have a look see and uh all being well we'll get uh, just pulled out and it should be hopefully good at the right as rain to go uh but we'll see uh we'll bring down the john d in now and then we'll have a look uh but yeah this field is looking rather good ready to roll as well so we've got plenty of time today it's only about uh, three o'clock in the afternoon now so if i can get that pulled out and everything is looking fantastic we'll uh we'll get it underway but good thing was that i didn't get hit anyway so we're all good there uh but for now as we wander and saunter back up the yard to get that we'll probably bring you an update there in the next episode uh just because i'm gonna have to fiddle around for a little bit uh, and we'll see how it comes out but uh yeah thank you ever so much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed I've been uh, Frank, your humble host there. If you have enjoyed and yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button as always. Smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you later on. Catch you later.